Hey, it's the Route 20 guy, and today on Two Minutes on 20, we'll discuss how the highway system actually came into being. It all began in 1921 with the Federal Highway Act of 1921. What a great name for a bill, right? Uh, this was passed by Congress to allocate funding to give to the states to improve their highways. So it took several years to actually come together to figure out how to do this. And eventually, by 1925, it was determined that a uniform system of highways was needed. This uniform system of highways had to be easy to follow. Prior, there were many auto trails out there that were getting kind of confusing. The Federal Highway Administration sent out notices in early 1925 that the states should come up with their best roads. They wanted to become federal highways. This was done state by state. By the spring of 1925, these states met regionally to connect their dots. For example, in these meetings, it was determined the Boston to Albany Road, the Albany to Buffalo Road, the Cleveland to Chicago Road, and the Dubuque to Sioux City Road would become federal highways. Pretty simple. When all this was completed in June of 1925, it moved forward to a national meeting in Washington, D.C. in August of 1925. In Washington, it was determined only three days were going to be needed to complete this task. However, as most things work in Washington, this was a fanciful notion and a subcommittee was immediately planned to connect all the dots. Between August and November of 1925, all the dots were connected. And in November of 1925, the U.S. highway system was announced to the public. It made headlines across the country. This was big news for 1925 and for the nation's highways. You could find that newspaper on microfilm today and see how important this was. No maps were drawn or given publicly that we could find. However, descriptions of the roads were printed. Once this was published, the states had one year to accept what was presented or request changes. If there were no changes, the states could then go ahead and implement that highway. So for example, we know in Massachusetts, they started putting up the signs in the spring of 1926 for Route 20. However, one state did object, and that was Oregon. They saw that Route 20 was to go through Yellowstone National Park on its way to Astoria, Oregon. And they said, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is supposed to be a federal highway transporting goods, and you're going through Yellowstone National Park. That road closes almost six months out of the year. This isn't good for us here in Oregon. So they petitioned and Route 20 was actually dropped at the east entrance of Yellowstone National Park. And Route 30 was actually brought up to go to Astoria, Oregon. And we'll discuss that in another video. So by the spring of 1926, states were putting up their shields. Maps were being recreated to show this federal highway system. The implementation was going along smoothly across the country. There were minor tweaks here and there, primarily in cities, to determine the best roads to place the highway. The culmination of a year of planning and placing highway signs on the roadways was completed in November of 1926. This is what I consider the completion date and really not a birthday because it already began in 1925 and many states already had their signs up in the summer of 1926. So November 1926 is actually the final date of implementation, but this is how it all began. We hope you enjoyed this video and gave you a little bit of history of how the highway system came to be. Stay tuned for our next video coming soon. Thanks for watching on Historic Route 20. I could be my